The Mexican radio, Wall of Voodoo. Oh. Stan Ridgway, nice to have you here. Would you please introduce me to your associates, starting with the man on our right. Over here is Mark Moreland on guitar. Is today your birthday? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want to hear this group sing, but we wish you the very best. <laughs> Whose mind is That's Chaz Gray on synthesizer and bass. Chaz, nice to have you with us. Our new member, Bill Nolan, on keyboards. Bill, welcome. And lastly, over here with assort assortment of pots and pans and other strange things. That's Joe Nanini on drums. You have worked at this a long, long time. Now, was what I said true? You started out doing other things other than just being a band? Yeah, I was kind of checkered, to say the least. Yeah. Um, checkered past, yes. you call it. Mm -hmm. What got you in this direction, and, and what got you here successfully? Well, we started out making music that we thought was our version of popular music. And Did people um, misunderstand it along the way? You well, know, here and there, but most people get it. What's the reaction of people in England who just got back from there? Did they like it? Yeah, they liked it. Their, their impression of most American acts are kind of high gloss and very gleam and lots of tinsel and glamour, and we kind of came off like five guys who couldn't keep their hands clean or something, so. <laughs> they like that? Yeah. You know what, the, the amazing thing is you've been a hot band in L.A. for a long time, and you jump between the two coasts. Are you going into the heartland now? Are you playing other places? Yeah, we're going, like, to Texas and, you know, the Midwest and stuff. Good reception? Yeah, good. Um, I think things are just, like, a little less rigid than they were. People are less prone to uh, fall asleep when they go to a show and watch music. They want to get up and move around and get involved. And, that's and you good. categorize this music? Does it have a name? Um, I'm mostly... Uh, just as confused as anyone else as to what to call it, you know. So um, I, I used to say it was like kind of a, a neo-Neanderthal approach to form. <laughs> I got one last question. It's a dumb question, but that door was on the album. The door is here on the set. Everybody out there wants to know, what is the significance of the door? Well, really, it was the door to my uh, closet, and it <laughs> fell off the of hinges, and I brought it here on the show. <laughs> I knew I would not get a straight answer.